Hello all, we are here for the lesson number four of this AutoCAD training course and this lesson is called simply starting. Uh, this time you'll begin to draw your own drawing and this will continue for the next lessons. So the first thing I want to show you is about definition of the work area in AutoCAD. And for that purpose, I will uh, call one command called limits and I will write it down and do the enter. Please note here on the command line that I've write it down. Now enter. I will use this technique of writing commands um, along this training course and we will talk in, on each time we do a new command, I will talk about it and I will explain how to do it. But it is important just besides the, the working with the icons on the ribbon or in other places, uh, I'd like you to, along this training course, to practice commands in icons and written or shortcuts. Okay. And in the end, it's up to you to have a decision in what is faster. Okay. So continue with this. Uh, with this limits command, I'm defining the work area. And as you can see, we talked this previously in the command line, we get messages about what is going on with AutoCAD. So at this moment, AutoCAD is asking me to specify the lower left corner and I should give a coordinate, something that we will see deeper um, in this course about the coordinate systems and so on. But basically now I want to give this zero in X and zero in Y, so I will say enter. And now upper right corner, I can use this for 2297. So in, I'm defining a format which is a A3. So enter. Um, to help us look this limits definition I've done, I will draw a rectangle. And basically I will say the exact same thing. And now I will use just the zoom and all option okay and I've just draw this rectangle to show you the working area defined and basically this working area can be switched on or switched off I will try now to make a line and if it is turn it on I should not be able to draw outside these limits uh, in this as you can see I've drawn outside so these limits are not switched on. So to switch them up on, I will invoke again the limits command and now I will choose the on option. Okay, let's try again to do a line which I can come here through the icon or I can use also a shortcut which is L, enter. I will click a point inside and I'll try to click a point outside. And the outside, you see, I'm not able to draw outside the working area. So the limits basically do this kind of definition of the work area, okay? Uh, I, I want to show you also, uh, besides this possibility of invoking um, the line through uh, either shortcut or is um, this icon here. I will draw it in the second point. And if you see also in the command line, you see that I have options as long as I'm going to uh, ev evolving in the command. So I have one option interesting here, which is called undo. And the undo will come one step behind on the command. So if I click here or choose the letter um, the capital letter or in this case also a new new option in AutoCAD the letter in blue 
it can be I can click here or just say U and then enter it will come one step behind this is very interesting function and we have it inside some of the commands or as a command uh, isolated command so if it is inside like in this line um, basically inside the command will come one step behind if it is used outside uh, just um, as another command it will come one step behind on the drawing itself so it will come one command behind um, just want to talk to you about two other things basically for you to take attention on this command line area and this standard message which says type a command this is the message that you should get when nothing is happen um, if anything else is around here so maybe AutoCAD is um, waiting for your information or is telling you something so it is very important to to have the, the, the eyes here. And the other thing I would like to call your attention is for the cursor. That in this particular case, you see we have a cross with a small square in the middle. And this is called a standard cursor. So you have it uh, usually. Uh, if you, for example, you call the command erase by the shortcut E. Uh, and then you go to the selection mode and the selection mode um, the cursor change goes only to a small square which basically is allowing you to choose objects another uh, possibility is when you go and um, you need to select points in, in like in the line command you see that the cursor has um, a different uh, shape and now it's only a cross and this is this mode is called point selection cursor so you see now I'm able to choose points besides these options you see that I have um, things are happening when I'm clicking points like these uh, dialog boxes with additional informations like uh, links on the, on the lines or helps uh, other things happen and we will see them a little deeper along this training course but for now um, the options I'd like to show you are are done and this lesson is finished I hope to see you in our next lesson lesson number five